So guys, in the next two months, you will see two new Toyota trucks on this YouTube channel. Things just got really expensive. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Yes, you heard me correct two new trucks on this YouTube channel. So before we get into it and I let you guys know everything, smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm can see this to help me pay for those trucks, that would be freaking killer. But the first one, before I get into the Tundra of why you guys clicked on this video, I'll let you know Tundra pricing, all the packages I got on the Tundra, everything, the final price and whatnot. The first truck, I've been teasing it a little bit in videos here and there, just seeing who's paying attention, seeing who's hyped. I've also mentioned it a little bit on my Instagram as parts over there start to pile up for it. Lift kit, wheels, tires, interior mods, pedal commander, lights, ton of stuff for that truck piling up. It is a Tacoma. So I know that's just random, right? But for followers who have been following this channel for over a year, about a year, year and a half ago, I was really contemplating a Tacoma. We didn't want to take on another car payment because we were looking for a house. So we got a first gen Tundra. I've, I've always been super hyped about the first gen Tundra. Uh, and it just, it didn't do that well on this YouTube channel. So I have a couple more videos to do with the first gen Tundra. If it doesn't pan out the way I was kind of hoping uh, on this YouTube, from a business standpoint, it's been on my mind to just sell that thing. It's paid off. It's gone up like six grand in price because of this current inflated market that we're in. So that truck may be on the chopping block just based on how these next few videos with that truck, uh, the views are received basically. But the Tacoma is gonna be killer and I cannot wait for it guys. Uh, back at Destination Outdoor, doing that event and everything and just being in Tacomas, off-roading Tacomas really helped rekindle my love for them. I really like the Tacoma. It's, it's such a great truck. And that truck's goal is to be a very cool off-road overland rig. I don't have one of those. Yes, I do have the 4Runner, but I daily this a lot and my wife likes to drive it a lot and I don't want it to be crazy obnoxious so she can't drive it basically and go to the grocery store and knocking things over, right? But I, it's just, I, I really like the Tacoma guys and I bought one and that way we get to grab some Toyota Tacoma lovers for this channel, especially with that fourth gen Tacoma coming out a lot sooner than we had anticipated. So Tacoma, hopefully within the next four to five days, already uh, money's all sent, all that stuff for that truck, and uh, basically just waiting on when I can pick it up. Tundra time. I made a video about the Tundra, my build, right? My build was literally an SR5 base model, didn't care about anything, and with the TRD off-road package in blueprint color. Did we get any of that? Not really, <laughs> not really at all. So. As I suspected in my pricing video, guys, dealers and Toyota are loading up these trucks. All Tundras right now are getting just filled to the brim with freaking options. And if you want it, you gotta buy it. So what did we get? We did get an SR5. I, as you guys saw on a poll that I did here on YouTube, we had three to choose from basically with a build date of 1213. So middle of December, Hopefully it bumps up sooner than that, or hopefully it's just like build and ready to go, but hopefully we get it by the end of the year. So 1213, an SR5 in white. I know magnetic gray one, but I felt like it would be cool to have a white SR5 Tundra and build it up to how Toyota has showcased the TRD Pro. Like they showcased the crud out of the white one, not the solar octane. So I, I went with the white one because I just thought it would be a nice compliment to kind of build a faux pro build the options that I got. And they're a lot more than I wanted to. So we got the advanced off-road package. What that includes is the full 360 camera view, the uh, multi-terrain monitoring system when you are off-roading. It has the backup trailer assist thing. Basically all the cool technology features are in that. Another package included with that is the premium audio package. You get some LED lights with that in the bed and you get the 14 inch screen. Why that isn't hand in hand with, especially with how much the advanced off-road package is, I have no idea. And then we did get the TRD off-road package, which is awesome. But we got the TRD off-road premium package, which is more money. But you get the soft tech seats, dual climate control, dual power front seats, heated seats. So it's, it's gonna be a nice package to have. Um, I, I personally, like I said, would not want it, but it's there. Uh, and I'm buying it, so I guess I want it, right? Heated steering wheel and then some running boards. So all of those options, I don't know how much the running boards are, are like 9,500 bucks, which is 
absolutely insane. But with that, the grand total comes to 55,650, $55,650. And then you include the taxes and everything on top of that. You're looking close to a $60,000 truck, SR5, $60,000 SR5. Now again, it's a lot better than last generation's SR5. You get a lot more in this truck, guys. Even those of you that haven't seen one yet in person and driven it yet, I, it's, it's, it's just such more of a truck than the last generation truck. And I was able to drive both in one day. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I like the truck a lot. And $60,000 for the amount of amenities that you get in that truck, I feel is pretty good. When I saw that sticker shock, part of me was like, should I have just asked for a limited, man? But then it clicked in my mind that if I did do the limited just based on MSRP, the dealer's gonna add a bunch of stuff anyways. So they're gonna add a bunch of stuff anyways, and that truck would end up being probably $65,000 after taxes. So really a difference of a limited and this SR5 that I'm getting is 5,000 bucks, which is a lot of money, um, but really it's just for nice LED headlights, which I plan to swap out with some Alpha Rex headlights whenever they make them for the truck and cooled seats. I really don't think there's any, oh, and a panoramic moonroof, okay. But I, other than that, I don't really think there's anything else that the Limited has that this fully decked out SR5 doesn't. I, I don't think so. So that is my bill, guys. Let me know if you guys are in the market for a Tundra, if you guys have your build date yet, and if it's anywhere near of the truck that you wanted. Because mine is nowhere near the truck that I wanted. It has a lot of options that I did not want just because I wanted a very bare bones SR5, uh, the truck that would appeal to the masses, right? The truck that everyone could ultimately obtain. Cloth seats, the small little eight inch screen up front, none of the crazy features or anything except for the TRD off-road package. That was my one main criteria and that's why I didn't get the blueprint color because there was an SR5 blueprint and it had a bunch of good features on it but it wasn't the TRD off-road. It was a four-wheel drive, but it wasn't the TRD off-road. At the end of the day, that one probably would have been good, right? But the goal of that truck is to build it to be better than the potentially $65,000, $70,000 TRD Pro that is coming out later. Granted, it won't have the hybrid motor, but it will still be a cool truck to show you guys the process of a very stock SR5 getting all the way built up to that Pro level and ultimately being better then the pro level I think would be very, very cool. Tacoma coming officially now here on this video. Brand new 2022 Tundra coming. Tacoma will be here hopefully very, very soon. Tundra should hopefully be here by the end of the year. I really hope it does for taxes, um, but it should be here by the end of the year. So guys, if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers as always, I appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later. Thank you.